क्वेश्चन नंबर वन टू फाइव द फॉलोइंग टू स्कैटर प्लॉट डायग्राम्स गिव इंफॉर्मेशन अबाउट सम स्कूल्स इन डेली मुंबई बैंगलोर एंड चेन्नई द फर्स्ट चार्ट शोज द नंबर ऑफ स्टूडेंट्स इन स्कूल्स ए बी सी डी ई एफ एंड जी एंड द सिटी दे बिलोंग टू अलोंग विद द परसेंटेज ऑफ बॉयज इन दी स्कूल सो दिस इज द फर्स्ट चार्ट we are talk about percentage of boys and the number of students in these uh, a b c d e f and g in these schools the name of the city they belong to is written in parentheses along with the school where d represents delhi so d is a school from delhi c is a school from b b represents bangalore uh, f is a school from m m represents mumbai uh e is a school from chennai a is a school from delhi b is a school from mumbai g is a school from bangalore right the second chart shows the percentage of boys and girls passed in these schools so this is the second chart b represents boys and g represents girl so we have 50% in school a 30% in school a the girls that they have passed in these schools okay so having an idea that this is a di on scattered uh, plot and uh, we are dealing with schools cities and the percentage of boys total boys total girls percentage of girls passed percentage of boys passed all of that so let's look at the question and see how should we uh, interpret uh, should is it necessary for us to draw a table or is it uh, okay if we go ahead and look at the data and then solve so the first question is what is the ratio of students passed in school b to the ones who failed in school g so two different schools passed and failed so we need to find out total pass total fail uh, next question is the number of girls in delhi is more than the number of boys in chennai by so we need to divide boys and girls we need to find that also next is what is the total pass percentage of all the girls together so we need to find out total girls and pass percentage so looks like uh, we need to find out each and every minute detail from here so it will be better if we draw a table where we talk about the schools the cities that they belong to the total number of students in that school how many boys are there how many girls are there and all of those many boys and girls how many passed that means remaining would fail so a table is required and it's going to be a big one because we have a total of seven schools and uh, we have we are going to have around 6 to 8 columns for total boys girls pass fail all of that so let's draw a table So if you look at uh, the table, the schools are the first column, the city that they are from. It's already given in the first uh, scatter diagram. Then we have total students, and then the division between boys and girls. And out of those boys, how many pass? So remaining fail. Same with girls, and total pass and fail. So let's complete this table. So let's start with A, the uh, school A. School A is from Delhi. and as we can see the number of students in school a is 2000 out of those 2000 40% are boys so 40% of 2000 is going to be 800 boys that means the remaining 1200 are girls now if we look at the second part uh, second scatter diagram what we will see is in school a the boys percentage passing is 50% So fifty percent of eight hundred, that means four hundred have passed. That means the remaining four hundred have failed. If we talk about girls, only thirty percent of girls in school A have passed. So thirty percent of twelve hundred is uh, going to be three hundred and sixty. So out of twelve hundred, three hundred sixty girls have passed. That means the remaining eight hundred and forty girls have failed. So total pass students are four hundred plus three sixty, which is seven sixty, and total fail students are four hundred plus eight forty, which is twelve forty. Or we can say that out of two thousand, if seven sixty students are passed, that means the remaining twelve hundred and forty students are going to fail. So either we can go school by school, or we can complete the first 
scatter diagram about total students and how many are boys and girls and then we can move over to the second scatter diagram well i will go school by school so let's look at b b is a school from bombay and we have a total of 1000 students from this particular school now out of these uh, what percentage is this so this is 40 and this is 60 that means we need to divide that gap into uh, a total of five segments so five segments would mean this is going to be um, 44 this one is going to be 48 this one is going to be 52 and this one is going to be 56 since this is right before 56 so let's take that as 55 percent so we have 55 percent of boys uh, 55 percent of students are boys in from school b so 55 percent of thousand is going to be 550 that means remaining 450 are going to be girls having known that let's go to the second scatter diagram let's look at school b boys passing percentage is 10 percentage that means only 55 boys passed that means the remaining 495 failed out of 550 let's look at girls total girls we have is 450 and out of that 40 percent of girls have passed so 40 percent of 450 is 180 so if 180 girls have passed that means the remaining 270 have failed so total students who have passed are 180 plus 55 that is going to give us 235 and the total number of failed is going to be the remaining which is going to give us 765 out of 1000 let's go to school c school c is from bangalore the total students we have is 4000 out of these 4000 students we can say that uh, a total of 50 percent right it's right in between 48 and 52 so this is 50 percent so 50 percent of students are boys that means 2000 are boys and we have 2000 as girls now uh, school c the boys passing percentage is 20 percent so this is going to be 400 and the remaining 1600 boys are going to fail uh, school C, the girls passing percentage is mere 10 percent. So 10 percent of 2000, that is 200 girls pass. That means remaining 1800 failed. Total students who have passed are 400 plus 200, that is 600 out of 4000. So remaining 3400 students have failed. Let's go to the next school, which is Delhi. So Delhi is at the top. So the Passing percentage is so total percentage of boys is 45 because this was 44 and total students are 5000. So 5000 students are there whose 45% are boys. So 45% of 5000 is going to be 2250. The remaining 2750 are girls. Out of this 2250 uh, from school D. The boys passing percentage is 20%. So 10% will be 2 to 5. 20% is going to be 450. About girls, uh, okay. Uh, the remaining out of 2 to 5 0 that this boys are going to fail are 2 to 5 0 minus 450, which is going to give us 1800. And um, if we look at the total girls who have passed from school D, this is 50%. So 50% of 2750 is uh, going to be 1375 and same 50% is 1375. The total students who have passed are 450 plus 1375 which is going to give us 1825 out of 5000. So the remaining are 31,075 students who have failed. Let's look at school E, Chennai. Total students we have is 3000 and uh, all the students are boys. So all are boys, 100%. So that means there are no girls. If you look at boys who have passed from school E, it's only 10%. So 300 boys have passed. So that means remaining 2700 have failed. No girls exist. It's a boys school, all boys school. So 300 students have passed and 2700 students have failed. 
Okay. Now let's look at school F. School F has 5,000 students and the school is from Mumbai. And uh, the total number of boys uh, we have for school F is 40%. So that is going to give us 2,000 boys and remaining 3,000 girls. Out of those boys, 40% boys have passed from the second scatter diagram. So 40% of 2000 is going to be 800. That means remaining 1200 have failed. If we talk about girls from the same school, 30% of girls have passed. So 30% of 3000 is going to be 900. The remaining 2100 girls have failed. Total students who have passed are 1700 out of 5000. So the remaining 3300 students have failed. Let's go to the last school, which is G. It's from Bangalore. Uh, we have total 1000 students here and 0% are boys. That means boys do not exist. This is an all school school. So 1000 girls are there. Out of those 1000 girls from the second scatter diagram, 20% of the girls have passed. So that means 20% uh, of 1000, 200 girls have passed. That means remaining 800 have failed. Total students passed is 200 and the total students failed is 800. Once this table is completed, all the questions are going to be very easy to solve. Let's move over to the question solving. Question number one. What is the ratio of students passed in school B? In school B, students passed is 235. To the ones who failed in school G. In school G, the failed students are 800. So 235 is to 800, they both are divisible by 5. So this is going to give us 47 is to 160. So option B is the answer. Question number two, the number of girls in Delhi. So if you talk about Delhi, there are two schools and in these two schools, the number of girls are 1200 and 2750. So 1200 plus 2750 is more than the number of boys in Chennai. So if you talk about Chennai, there is only one particular school which is from Chennai and the number of boys we have over here is 3000. It was an all boys school. So this is going to be 3000. So what is the difference between these two? So 2750 and 3000 can be cancelled out and we can say that this is already 250 less. So that will get subtracted from 1200. So that is going to end up at 950. So there are 950 more girls as compared to boys from Delhi and Chennai respectively. Question number three. What is the total pass percentage of all the girls together? So if you look at the pass percentage, so we have total girls. So we need to add this. So this is going to give us 1300 plus uh, 300, 200. That is uh, 15, 1800 plus 200, which is 2000, 900 plus 100. That is another thousand, so that is three thousand. Three thousand plus eighty plus sixty, one forty. One forty plus seventy five. So this is going to give us three thousand two hundred and fifteen. Uh, and what is the total number of girls we have? So the total number of girls is going to be 1200 plus 450, 1650 plus 8000, 8000, 9650, 9650 plus 750. So this is going to give us 10,400. So the question asked is passing percentage of girls. So 3215 divided by 10,400. This is going to be definitely above 30%. Right? And it's going to be very close to 30%. Because 3 out of 10 is going to be 30%. So a little more than 3 and a little more than 10 is going to be around 30% only. But 
मोर देन थर्टी परसेंट सो ऑप्शन सी मेक्स सेंस वी शुड एंड कैलकुलेट प्रिसाइसली बिकॉज दी ऑप्शन क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर The percentage of students who failed in all schools together is so we have to talk about all the students, not just boys or girls. So total failed is the uh, total fail column. We need to go there and add all the values. So this is going to be one thousand plus uh, three thousand plus three thousand. That is seven thousand plus three thousand ten thousand ten thousand plus two thousand, which is going to give us twelve thousand. Let's talk about hundreds. Two hundred plus seven hundred nine. Nine hundred plus five hundred fourteen hundred. Fourteen hundred plus thousand twenty four hundred. Twenty four hundred plus eight hundred is thirty two hundred. And then let's talk about the last two digits. Forty plus sixty five is hundred and five. Hundred and five plus seventy five is hundred and eighty. So we will have fifteen thousand three hundred and eighty is the total number of students who have failed. And if we talk about all the schools together, so we need to have we need to find out total students, which is two three seven plus three ten ten plus another five and five that is ten twenty. So this is twenty one thousand overall. So fifteen thousand three hundred and eighty. Divided by twenty one thousand. So, how much is this going to be? We can say that this is approximately fifteen out of twenty. It's actually a little over twenty. So, this is going to be three by four, which is seventy five percent. Making this twenty as twenty one is not going to make it lie between sixty and seventy. It will definitely not go below seventy percent. So more than seventy percent of the students failed in all the schools. All the schools taken together, more than seventy percent. Question number five: Which city has the second largest number of boys? So let's talk about Delhi. In Delhi, we have eight hundred plus two two five zero, which is going to give us three thousand and fifty boys. Okay, let's talk about the next city, which is Mumbai. So Mumbai, we have five hundred and fifty boys plus two thousand boys, which is twenty five hundred and fifty boys. Let's talk about the next city, Bangalore. So Bangalore has two thousand boys plus nothing in Bangalore. Bangalore was an all schools, all girls school. So two thousand. And if we talk about Chennai, the last one, last city, we have three thousand boys, and that's it. So this one is the highest, and this one is the second highest. As in, three thousand is the second highest. So Chennai is the city which has the second largest number of boys. Question 